Yeah, well, how's it going, guys? It's Richie you know, Unicorn Call here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week, or at least a better week than I have been, dude. I've been on Twitter so much, like, literally, I might have to take, like, a social media detox. But not the WizTuber videos. Nah, we keep the WizTuber videos, you know, coming. But, yeah, we got some Wizard 101 news to talk about. Uh, basically, just the same old thing, just, you know, general reminders about stuff and some new stuff here and there, but... Yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So, going over here on their Twitter, again, Twitter overload for me. Um, Wizard101 made this, I guess, kind of questionnaire survey asking you about the best-looking pets. You can basically choose of your, you know, three favorite pets, and you can base it on your, their appearance, right? And it is interesting how they made this survey, because a lot of people might be alluding to a little hint that this could potentially be an introduction to pet stitching. Now, hear me out, hear me out, right? Let's say that they are working on pet stitching. However, there is a potential chance that they can't allow certain, I guess, pets to be stitched based on coding or stuff like that. We, we know how they work on this game. We, we know how the updates go. There's always bugs and glitches and stuff like that. But it is kind of just like an out-of-the-ordinary kind of questionnaire to ask the community. It's really interesting. I'll leave this linked in the uh, description and comment if you also wanted to participate in it. You don't have to, like, sign in or anything. It's just, like, a regular Google Doc survey. You know, you don't have to, like, do anything. You don't have to put in, like, any personal information. Um, but it is pretty interesting, so make sure to check that out. I'd have to say my favorite pet would have to be, like, the Dryad. I always loved the Dryad pet, but, again, there are so many awesome pets out there. So, again, make sure to check that out. All right, now for the reminders, you know, pretty much the same stuff. Uh, now through May uh, 19th, we already talked about the Lost Pages event. It's going to last all the way through May 19th. It is wrapping up soon, so make sure you take advantage of that. Um, if you want to check out the King's Isle store, one one of these days I will buy a Wizard 101 hoodie because I am a whiz head. One day I will. I wish there was just a little bit more on the hoodies, but it is what it is. But um, again, if you want to buy some merchandise, check it out. Also got to buy me a Wizard 101 hat. A reminder, a big reminder that the free membership is, you know, going to last all the way through May 19th. We talked about this over the week, and hopefully everybody has been questing and, you know, doing your battles, your quests, and, you know, leveling up, all that fun stuff, you know. Um, learn some new spells, you know, meet some new people, you know, all that fun stuff. So, again, it's going to last all the way through May 19th. A lot of people had questions about, like, what specific time. Like, May 19th on Sunday is basically, like, the final, like, full day. And then when it's Monday, that's usually when the free membership would technically be deactivated. So, Hopefully, everybody has had fun with the uh, free membership. It's been a great, you know, week for it. So, yeah, enjoy that. And then over here, a reminder that in case if you wanted to extend your membership and extend the magic, they have this limited time special deal going on. It's basically a six month of Wizard 101 membership for 8,250 crowns as well. And this is for $59.99. So you can check that out. It's going to last all the way through May 21st. So make sure to check that out. And to reiterate what I just said, um, you get six months of a Wizard 101 membership. Plus the 8,250 crowns. So, again, make sure to check that out if you're interested. Another reminder that the Ravenwood Academy game um, is on Steam. As I said before, it's a single player game. And if you want to wishlist it, it's on Steam. I honestly don't know when this is going to come out. Like, I don't know. But um, it looks cool. The graphics look interesting. And, you know, I'm excited to check it out, you know. It, it, hopefully it's not too expensive. I really am trying to save my money, man. I'm tired of spending money, man. And then over here, Charity Rex Mound. This is for people that do want to put their money to a good cause. You can put it at to stack up. This is to support the veterans, and it's going to last all the way through the end of May. So make sure you check out this mount. I know everybody loves the Charity Mount. So again, make sure you check it out. And now we got a bundle over here. This is the Floating Lands Resort bundle. This is a shared bundle between the Pyro 101 and Wizard 101. We've talked about this before, and it's available in GameStop. So, again, make sure to check that out if you want. 
in another bundle, May 22nd. This is the Dino bundle, so make sure you grab that. You know, it's a little throwback bundle. Um, it comes with the Pyramid of the Lost Horizon with Hidden Catacombs, Two-Person Tyrannosaurus Rex Mount, the Stagosaurus Pet, the Warrior's Outfit, Hunter's Bow, and 5,000 Crowns. So again, make sure you check that out. Seems like a pretty cool bundle. And then we also have another good throwback that a lot of people always ask about this nonstop. And this is the Mystical Flutes. They are going to be available all the way through May 19th in the Crown Shop. It goes from level 0 to level 130. Usually people just get the level 0 one or, you know, level 1, you know, doesn't matter. Usually the level 0 ones, the ones that cost less. And, you know, people usually use this as, like, stitch gear. So, again, make sure you check that out. It's going to be available all the way through May 19th. So take advantage. I see that comment all the time on Twitter, like, bring back the flutes, bring back the flutes, and then when it's over, people ask for it again. Honestly, they should just keep it in the crown shop at this point. Just keep the flutes in the crown shop, honestly. We got the Bayou Best. This is the bundle we talked about. A little bit of a housing bundle, and they also had the Nightmare Horde Pack bundle. You get 12 for the price of 10. So, again, make sure to check out the Crown Shop if you wanted to look for some cool stuff to buy. Over here, the Myth Decathlon event is available all the way through Monday, May 20th. So, make sure to check this out. This does not require a membership at all. Everybody can earn their credits and just... You know, have fun with the Myth Decathlon. The only thing I would recommend is try to use minions. The minions really do help you out a lot. I think I was doing the Myth Decathlon event, and I don't know if I have it, like, uploaded somewhere, but I made it all the way up to, like, Cyrus Drake, and it made me so mad because I'd never gotten that far in any decathlon before. I have to find the video. I'm not sure if I already uploaded it or not. But, dude, I was, like, this close to beating it. I was actually so... I was so mad, dude. I was actually mad. But over here, you also got the Spiral Showcase event, which gives you a bunch of stuff. Mega Snacks, Jewels from the Rock Hammer, Jewel Pack, Reagents from Mega Reagent Pack, etc., etc., including the Professor's Horde Pack. Which is also a fun pack that is also going to last all the way through May 20th. So make sure to take advantage. Over here, I got to swallow. I'm sorry. So much spit and saliva. I'm sorry. But Beast Moon Bundles are still available. They're always going to be available um, in case you wanted a, I guess, a little bit of a step up in the Beast Moon scene. I personally don't endorse it, but I know people just love buying stuff. So have fun with that. And then over here, um, just a, more reminders about some of the bundles they got. The Heroes of Lemuria pack bundle um, is still available through the 19th. So, again, make sure to check that out. And then over here, we got the Ninja's Spell Mental Pack bundle and the Shaman's Spell Mental Pack bundle, which is also available in the Crown Shop in case you wanted to get those bundles as well. And then a last reminder that the Mother's Day bundles are still going to last all the way through May 30th. So if you are interested in, you know, those bundles, make sure to check it out. These are housing items, I think. So, um, again, just have fun with that and check it out. Well, I think one of them gives you, like, the Rose Boutique wand, which is pretty pretty. So, you know, check it all out. But, again, that's pretty much it. Oh, by the way, I see this name. I see this a lot. That's pretty, but you know what would be prettier? Adding the name Crystal to your list of name, pretty please. That would actually be a good name to add in. I'm honestly surprised that when they dropped that name update, they didn't really add, like, a lot of names that you would think would be obvious, you know? Maybe in, like, a future little slice of life update or, you know, whatever quality of life update... Um, maybe they can add more names to the list, but that would be cool. Crystal is a beautiful name. They should definitely do that. Shout out to Crystal, everybody. Shout out to Crystal. I know she's been asking that for a very long time. But until then, that pretty much wraps it up for the news. Again, you can check out the Crown Shop yourself and go buy some stuff. And as I said before, if you do need help with the Nightmare Dungeon, you can always join our Discord server. We have a lot of nice people, and I'm practically doing the Nightmare Dungeon, like, pretty much 24-7, so... Yeah, if you need help with that, just hit me up, and until then, I will see you guys later. Peace out, have a wonderful weekend, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.